Good evening. Welcome to my quick little video on LEGO Digital Designer. Uh, just a quick little plug here. LEGO Digital Designer is a free program that you can search for online and download as long as you have a Windows or a Mac. Um, if you just do type in LEGO Digital Designer and oops over here and you'll see it come up, uh, let's see here, yeah, first one, LEGO Digital Designer Virtual Building Software, and just hit download, and choose the machine that you wish to, or the type of machine or operating system that you have, um, and again, my machine's running a tad bit slow here, um, try it again, there we go, and so you can either do a Mac OS or a Windows PC, um, gives you the requirements down here, um, but you know again, free program you can download, so you are able to work at home. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that, and I'm going to jump into Digital Designer. I have it pre-opened. All right, so we're going to be working in the Mindstorms tab, and this just kind of targets some pieces based on the ones you have in your kit. Um, so we're going to go to Free Build. You got your space here. Um, one of the things you can do is if you come down here to the lower left hand, you can filter bricks by boxes. We have the kit 45544, and that just changes things up here, or gets rid of things that we don't have in our kits. So, a um, couple things. This is your build space. You can scroll in or out, um, and you'll see I, my scrolling wheel um, is not functioning really well on my mouse. You can also um, zoom in with the view. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay. Um, something else that you are able to do is you are able to right click and pan. Um, that's something that can be helpful from time to time. Uh, zoom down here. Oh, that zooms in your tools here. Okay, so uh, placing things on Digital Designer. Okay, so if you start here, I'm going to start just by placing the brick. Uh, I'm going to zoom, see if I can get it to zoom out again here. Um, you notice your workspace will move or expand to fit where you're putting the pieces. Um, so I'm going to left click and just kind of place the piece there kind of pan around a little bit here. Oh, zooming tools there. I can zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to bring this down here. Okay, so here's my brain. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you wiring. I'm going to grab a couple of motors here. And if you would like, um, if, as long as you have control of the motor, you've got it in that move. Um, you can use your arrow keys to spin it, flip it, Kind of flip it over again, spin it around, depending on how you want to orient things. You have a clone tool, which is handy for um, putting things, kind of getting dual pieces. Okay. Um, I'm going to set some wheels off to the side here. Or these are tires. I'm going to use the clone tool. Okay. And I'm going to get the wheels that fit those, and I just um, one of the things you'll notice is when you get the pieces green like that, that means they're connected together. Okay, um, I have a selector a selector tool here that I can work on selecting both pieces. Let me it can be kind of tricky. I'm gonna pan around here and select that whole tire. When you see both of them put together like that, then you can move the whole tire like so. Okay. Uh, so let me just pan back around here, um, getting wires. So you're going to notice that you're going to get green. The first one you select is green. The next one you select is red. Okay, These are one wire. I'm going to have one wire go into the motor. And then the other wire, you're going to notice I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to plug into the port. Um, green, the colors just let you know what wires go together. So I know that the red wires go to this motor here, the green wires go to that motor there. They are connected. Okay, so that's kind of digital designer in a nutshell. Um, some tricks to know are, let me grab some 
axle, so I'm just going to grab an axle. Um, again, when it's green like that, that means the piece will go together. Um, if it doesn't quite fit in there, then you know it's not going together. Okay, so just some, you can put an axle in there. Okay, you have your bushings. Uh, if you want to go back to other pieces, you can undo the filter that way. And there's some more pieces you have access to there. Um, let me just close some of these off here so you can see that. Okay, when you're saving, first time I would do that is I would go to File, Save As. And it'll bring up a little dialog box here. Make sure you go to the Libraries area in your Documents. Find, make sure you're in under your name. Put it in under Pictures. I would start a new folder called Digital Designer or Lego Designs so you can find it easily. Double click that tab and then go um, Dragster and then just simply save the file. And then you can come in and find it pretty easily next time. Uh, if you go back to home, you'll notice there's the file there. So when you sign in the first time, you can then bring it open and open it up again. Again, this has been Lego Digital Designer. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com. Good luck and happy designing.